Good morning, it's Patrick with the LP Shaver. It is Saturday, um, July 29th. Wow. Don't know where this month's went or year for that matter. Uh, I wanted to share another shave with you. I was going to use a, a soap that uh, Dave in Kentucky sent me. It's the Sterling Bay Rum. That's what soap we'll be using today. I was wanting to use the <clears throat> Durham Dorset. Dorset? I don't know. Dorset, I guess, probably. Uh, that he sent. And I was going to use a, a, a hack that I saw, or he sent me, um, using uh, Artist Club blades. And I just got the blades last night. <clears throat> I haven't even cut them out yet. And I thought, well, it would be silly to try to cut them out this morning and use them in a shave and cut my throat accidentally or something and, you know, just be a horrible shave. So we're not going to use the dorset today. Hopefully next week I'll be able to use it. Um, but we're going to use a uh, Gillette New. It's the, the short comb version. These are from the 30s. Uh, pretty good shavers. This is the short comb. This is the long comb. Uh, as you can tell, one's long, one's short. Um, and there's a piece of fuzz on that one. Anyways, but uh, pretty good shavers all told but they are somewhat different um this just happened to be hanging here and i was thinking what am i going to use and there it was so that's what we're going to use um <clears throat> the uh, brush we're going to be using is a uh, vintage cleanzo uh, butterscotch with a uh, the golden nib i think it's a 24 26 uh finest badger that i bought uh, a few weeks ago on a, a BST. I love these old um, vintage brushes, if you can't tell. I've got quite a few of them. But um, bought it worth the money, I thought. And uh, USPS finally got it here. It was lost for two weeks or something like that. I knew it would turn up, but it took, took an inquiry to, to get it here. Uh, oh, for aftershave, we're going to be using... I bought this... Uh, it's called Navy Goat from Crown King PAA. It's um, it's bay rum, but it's lavender bay rum, which is different, but I kind of like it. I bought this set for my dad. He was uh, he was in the Navy <coughs> in uh, February of '65. He dropped out of high school. He was uh, shoeing horses and and working horses and um, working around racetracks and stuff like that. Uh, and he decided that that's what he was going to do, so he didn't need to finish high school, so he dropped out. He was 18 in February, so he, he quit. Uh, this was in 1965, if I haven't said that. Um, well, in April, didn't take long for the government to catch up with him. This was right at the beginning of the Vietnam War, <clears throat> and he got a draft notice from the Army. And my grandpa wouldn't let him. Grandpa was in World War II in the Navy. He made my dad go to the Navy recruiter. And uh, so my dad joined the Navy in 65. He was in the, from 65 to 69 on an aircraft carrier called the USS Forstall, the CVA-59. Um, there's a good story, bad story, actually, about it. Uh, look it up if you have time or want to know anything about it. But uh, I bought this for him, and he does not use aftershave. Didn't really know that when I bought this for him. But and I found this, and uh, I was pilfering through his medicine cabinet and it was there I said are you going to use this and he said I know so he said do you want it and I said yeah I'll, I'll take it so I've had it for a month or two and I use it every now and again I like the scent it'll go go good with this soap <clears throat> anyway I'll shut up and get on with this shave now um I hope you've all been doing well I had a good week and all that sort of stuff As my buddy HD, HD Shave says, uh, hope you're all in good spirits. Well, of course I do. Or get loud up for a pass one.
I picked this up at uh, the Sterling shop. This uh, soap and smelled it a dozen times probably. Uh, I've been been over there. I don't live too far from them, so I I go over once or twice a year, and I always pick it up and smell it, and I like it a lot better now. Maybe it's because I didn't have to pay for it. I don't know, but I really enjoy this scent now. And most bay rums hit me off for some reason when I first smell them. But I grow to like them. Sir Henry's has a really nice bay rum. Uh, Island Estate. If you uh, like a bay rum, it's a bit different. And I enjoy it. All right, I think that's gonna do all right. These new, new razors, N-E-W, or uh, like I said, made in the 30s, and I think I got this one at a, uh, junk shop antique shop up in uh, Springfield Missouri some years ago and after buying this long comb wherever I got it it may have came in a, a lot of razors I bought um, after using it a few times and getting kind of a rough shave with it I realized the the top cap is a little bit warped so it doesn't hold the blade exact it's kind of rough and then guy I go to church with gave me a he said he picked it up he wouldn't tell me what he gave for it because I tried to pay him he picked up a uh, a long cone the other day and the, the cap is good on it so I'll eventually put them together and make a good razor out of them but this one it'll shave you but it's kind of rough I was on, uh, I just happened to be on Instagram last night and caught uh, Tobin's Throwbacks. He was doing a live shape with a couple other guys, um, Smiles for Miles, and um, doggone, a guy from uh, Bricktown Grooming. I think that's right. Anyways, I just happened to be on there and they were doing some drawings and I won a uh, gift card to shea supply so I gotta get on there and figure out something I, I don't need anything but I'll probably find something that I wanted yeah a $20 gift, gift certificate just for uh, showing up pretty nice appreciate that Tobin puts out a lot of uh, content on uh Instagram and YouTube also, I can't keep up with them. People send them a lot of uh, things for them to try out and get first impressions on. And that sort of thing. Go past two against the green.
And in this razor, we have a new um, uh, Wilkinson sword from India. That's the blade that we've got in it. My wife is, uh, she just left a little bit ago. She was on her way to uh, Tinkiller Lake. Her aunt's got a place out at Keys, Oklahoma, not far from Tinkiller. And they're going to go and get on the boat and look at the lake I turned down the uh, invitation it's supposed to be 103 today and I'm not really a lake guy I've got a boat but it's for fishing it's not for touring so to say or skiing. I know that on her pontoon you can ski. I've not been out on it, but <coughs> or tubing maybe this is better. People like to do that sort of thing. Good for them. I do like camping. I don't particularly care so much for the 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 lake going and the boating and all that, but. I like putting out trot lines and jug lines and that sort of thing. I say that and I haven't had my boat out in over a year or so. <clears throat> well, they're up for past three here already. Sterling does make a good soap, good aftershave, good people, I like them a lot. Can't really go wrong with their products in my opinion. Been so long since I used one of these news. I should be ashamed. Yep, I should be ashamed. As good as the shades this is this has given me today. No complaints at all. Let me uh, wipe this off and 
It's like the same one. <clears throat> My daughter is a pet groomer. She lives a little way south of us, eight or ten miles, I guess. And she's got shingles. She's 29, it'll be 30 in November. And she's got shingles under her. <laughs> Whatever that was. Um, under her arm. Her left, and she's left handed, and she does all of her grooming work with her left hand. And I just hope she'll be able to keep up with her appointments. And she's on medicine, that sort of thing. But, man. I know before my mom passed, she had shingles and they were, she had a horrible time with them. Hopefully my daughter does, gets over them pretty quick. All right. <clears throat> there you go. Crown King PAA. I lose a bit there in the corners of my mouth, or a little under that top of my chin there. I have to live with it, I think. I think it's going to be fine for Saturday. Um, let me recap, and I'll get off here and let y'all go. Today we used the uh, Gillette new long comb, or short comb version, <coughs> with the new uh, Wilkinson Sword uh, Indian variety. Uh, excellent shave with that. The uh, brush we use is the, uh, not that you can really see any of that, but the Butterscotch Cleanzo with the um, Golden Nib 24, 26, Finest Badger, something like that in there. I think it's a 26. And then for the soap, we used uh, Sterling Bay Rum from Dave in Kentucky. Thank you much, Dave. I sure do appreciate it. Um, Anyways, I'll get off here and let y'all go. I do appreciate you watching and spending your time with me. Uh, thanks for the new subscribers. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see me use, um, just uh, leave me a comment. Um, I got a lot of different things, and if I've got it, I'll try to use it. Uh, whether it's soap, aftershave, I've got a lot of different stuff. You don't know what I have, but it's too much. I'll let you know that. Um, anyways, I'll get off here and let y'all go. Thanks a lot, and uh, be careful and safe, and stay healthy and all that good stuff, and Lord willing, we'll see y'all next Saturday. Thanks a bunch.